What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Golf Magic channel and welcome back to another equipment review video. Now today I'm going to be reviewing a set of wedges that has been talked about a lot in 2020. This is the Cleveland RTX Zipcore Black Wedges. Now I know they're available in other colours as well but the ones that we have today are the ones in black. The Cleveland Wedges were announced in the summer of 2020 and were released to the public last month. Now they've been well used on tour and there's a few reasons for that. The RTX Zipcore itself is both radically new and also ultra familiar. On the inside, its new core has unlocked design freedoms, pushing the performance beyond any wedge in Cleveland Golf's history. Yet on the outside, the sleek yet traditional design is familiar and inspires confidence at address, which I can attest to. The foundation of the RTX Zipcore itself is a unique low density core that sits at the heart of the wedge. The Zipcore aspect makes you better by shifting the center of gravity while boosting the MOI for more stability high and low on the wedge face. Now, on first glance of these wedges, it's clear to see that the design of them are absolutely stunning. Now, I'm not too fond of the black finish four wedges because I know they're just going to wear off with the amount of rust you get from them, but these are actually an exception. The actual design of them itself is more like a pear drop, quite similar to the Vokis, but a little bit different, a little bit thicker of a top line. The design and the colour just really complement each other, and if I had a choice between the black and the satin, I would definitely choose the black one. In previous reviews of let's say the Callaway Mac Daddy CB, these wedges are actually game improvement. I wouldn't say this is necessarily a game improvement club, I know it's very prevalent on tour, but it's not that thin like the MG2TW, it still has a little bit of forgiveness there and it definitely does instill confidence at address. So I took the Cleveland RTX Zipcore wedges to Knoll Park Golf Club's short game area to see how they perform in comparison to other wedges I've tried in 2020. Now, the wedges that I have were completely standard, so they had the true temper, spinner shafts in them, and normal grip, so exactly what you could get off the shelf. Now, a few things to mention before we get into it. The short game area and the greens at Knoll Park had just been sanded, as you can see by the videos that I will just show you shortly. So I wasn't actually expecting too much spin here, but I could still get a sense of how much they span in comparison to other wedges I've tried recently. Now, I always feel that testing out wedges is a bit of a difficult one to give my actual feelings and how they perform, because with irons and drivers, I'm putting them through launch monitors and distance control to see how far they go, if they're gonna be improvement in my dispersion. With the gap wedge and sand wedge that I've taken to Knoll Park Golf Club, I don't particularly want to put it onto a launch monitor because if it's going 10 yards, 15 yards further than another wedge, that's not really too important for us. I think wedges for me are all about feel, all about how they perform around the greens. You want to use them a lot more in that type of shot and to be honest they're a lot more important there. If this is different for you and if you want me to hit them on like 100 yard shots and further then please let me know down in the comments and in the future I'll definitely be doing that. So with the testing I put the 56 and 52 degree wedge through a 10, 25 and 60 yard shot hitting about 10 to 15 balls each time. As said before, the greens were sanded, so I didn't expect any actual spin, but I can still give my opinion on how they felt. Now, the first thing I noticed when hitting the wedges from 10 yards away was that it felt almost impossible to strike the ball badly. Now, my short game is on a good day, but every shot here, bar one or two, were straight out of the middle and felt unreal. The standard bump and run shot felt second nature to me, and at that point, I tried to test different types of shots. Obviously not too extravagant, but a bit more cut spin, lower and higher, and they all felt pretty easy. Now, moving on to the 25 yard shot, I kind of shot myself in the foot with this one. With the shot that I chose, I don't know why I did it, but there was no green to work with, up a pretty significant slope, and with no chance to put spin on them. So, in terms of my results on how I was going to get it close to the pin, I'm sure I'm going to look like a bit of a hacker here. Nevertheless, this is where I started noticing how superior the feel is off of this club. Buttery is the exact term that I would feel is most appropriate for this. The club really slides under the ball well and it's just a real pleasure to hit. I could definitely notice, although you can't see it there, that the zip core faces improvement compared to the previous range, especially on the spin. They do spin a lot. You just can't see it here. I'll be sure to pick these against another brand soon and show you exactly the amount of zip you can really get. Let me know down in the comments what brand and what club you want me to put these against and I'll be sure to do it very, very soon. Now, finally, I had the 60 yard shot. Now, this is a fairly simple shot, but for me, 
This is where the Cleveland RTX Zipcore really did come into a world of its own. From 60 yards, I tend to just think of that stock yardage itself and nothing else, which is extremely different to how the Tor Pros play it. But for this type of shot, when I hit it, after a few shots, like in the 10 yard shot, I began to test the exact versatility of this club itself and try and play different types of shots that I would never really think of playing on the course because I'd just be too nervous. Lob shots felt like a walk in the park and low spinners were just really easy. I did not once think I was going to blade it or chunk it. Now, could this be because I was in the short game area and not the course? Perhaps, but that still does a test to how much it did improve my short game. To have that confidence in a club and the ability to hit a variety of different shots without second guessing or wondering what could go wrong for me is the number one thing you should be looking for with wedges. So this really blew me away. It's worth mentioning as well that I did use the 56 degree club in a few bunkers around the short game area and the results were all right, but to be honest, I didn't get on that well with it. And that's because the bounce of the club is not right for my swing. So that's nothing to do with the club itself. It's just to do with the bounce not being the correct for my swing. And if I got custom fitted for this, I would have had much better results, which I always recommend you do for any club in your bag. So guys, that brings us to the end of the video and I will now give my final opinion on the Cleveland RTX Zip Core Wedges in black. Now for me, I've tried a lot of wedges in 2020, all brands from TaylorMade to Callaway, literally all of them. And for me, I was most surprised by the Clevelands. I know they've got a lot of rep on tour, but the actual feel of them, comparing them to, let's say the Titleist Vokies, the ones that everyone say is the best, like without any shadow of a doubt, I think these feel not even a little bit better. I think these feel a lot better than them. I truly think if you try them as well, you will think exactly the same. For me, these are the best feeling wedges of 2020. If you're in the market for some wedges right now, definitely give these a try. I think you'll be very surprised at how these perform and just how nice they feel. They'll definitely make you feel confident and I wouldn't say there's any target market that's specific for these wedges. If you're a high handicap player or a low handicap player, give these a try and I'm sure you're gonna be surprised. The price of £149 is an RRP, but you can get it a little bit cheaper if you look around. This rivals any brand on the market in 2020, and it means if you're in the market for a wedge right now, this is definitely one to keep an eye on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you want any more additional information on next time's wedge review video, let me know down in the comments, and I'll be sure to include it in the next one. I'll see you guys at the next video.